Welcome back to the channel where we dive into the latest longevity and health products. Today we're diving into an intriguing compound, C15, also known as pentadecanoic acid. I'm going to first show you what it does and then how you can get it from foods. So let's jump in. C15 is a unique type of fatty acid. Unlike its more common cousins like omega-3s, it's a 15 carbon long chain saturated fatty acid found in various foods. It's predominantly found in dairy products like milk and cheese, but also in fish and some plant oils. The concentration in these foods can vary, so it's not just about what you eat, but also the quality and source of these foods as well. So is it water soluble or fat soluble? Well, being a fatty acid, C15 is of course fat soluble. This means it's absorbed along with dietary fats, so pairing it with a healthy fat can aid in its absorption. So how does it contribute to health and aging? Studies have indicated that C15 may play a role in reducing inflammation, improving cholesterol levels, and even has potential anti-aging properties, which is the bit you wanna hear. When compared with other popular longevity compounds like resveratrol, omega-3 fatty acids, and coenzyme Q10, C15 holds its own. Each of these compounds has unique properties, of course, but what makes C15 stand out is its specific action on cellular health and inflammation. The paper titled, Broader and Safer Clinically Relevant Activities of Pentadecanoic Acid Compared to Omega-3, investigates the efficacy of pentadecanoic acid, or C15. The study compares C15 with a leading omega-3 fatty acid known as EPA across various disease models. Key findings include C15 was found to be non-cytotoxic at all tested concentrations, 1.9 to 50 micromolar displaying broad anti-inflammatory and anti-proliferative activities involving 36 biomarkers across 10 systems. The paper also says, Unlike C15, EPA omega-3 fatty acid showed cytotoxic effects in four cell systems at a 50 micromolar concentration, while both C15 and EPA shared 12 clinically relevant activities at 17 micromolar, C15 exhibited an additional 28 activities, especially in anti-inflammatory responses not present in EPA or omega-3. So is there a similarity to other therapeutics? Well, at lower concentrations, 1.9 to 5.6 micromolar, C15 showed properties similar to bupropion, a medication for depression and mood disorders. At 5.6 micromolar, it mimicked antimicrobials, and at 50 micromolar, it matched activities of cancer therapeutics like gisetabine and paclitaxel. Overall, the study underscores the broader and safer cell-based activities of C15 compared to EPA omega-3, highlighting its potential as an essential fatty acid for long-term metabolic and heart health, as well as its parallel efficacy to common therapeutics for mood disorders, microbial infections, and cancer. So how should you take it? The best way is through a balanced diet rich in its natural sources. While supplements are available, it's always beneficial to go through the whole food source when possible to ensure optimal absorption and benefit from other nutrients. The top four foods for C15 is unsalted butter having the highest content, then salted butter being the second highest, fermented butter being the third, and then cream, the milk fat that is. As for dosage, there's no one size fits all. It depends on your dietary habits, health status, and specific needs. As always, consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement. To sum up, pentadecanoic acid, or C15, is a fascinating compound with potential health and longevity benefits. While it's not a magic pill, incorporating it into a healthy lifestyle could be very beneficial. Drop your questions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, check out our Patreon channel. I'll put a link in the details below. You'll find a ton of videos in our Patreon that we can't put on YouTube's standard platform for various reasons. Always chat with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, second edition, out now, link below. Please support us by hitting that thumbs up button and fist bumping the subscribe button. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.